our story begins a decade ago just west of the Ural Mountains in Russia. We decided to embark upon a project that would change our business fundamentally, one of the first examples in Russia and Europe of potash deposit development from scratch. Today, the Usolsky potash plant is coming on stream. In 2008, Eurochem won a mineral license auction to use two plots of the Vyechna Kamskoye potash magnesium field. That marked the genesis of a greenfield project with a total cost of around 3 billion USD. By 2010, a geological survey had been conducted and the pilot holes drilled. The exploration work at the Vyechna Kamskoye field validated Eurochem's approach and the decision was taken to sink shafts using the ground freezing technique. The sinking of shaft number two, with a depth of 474.5 meters, was completed in 2013, while a year later, shaft number one reached its depth of 548.7 meters. In 2015, the mine's roadways were constructed and equipped, and the mine shafts themselves were reinforced. To design the ore dressing complex, the Toms Project Institute was brought in as general contractor. The construction of the branch line to connect the plant with the Russian Railways network was achieved as an important project milestone. The total length of railway line built for the project is over 46 kilometers. Infrastructure including gas, water and power supply were constructed in parallel. 2014 saw the start of construction of a 220 kilovolt electricity substation, feeding the Yavinskaya water power station and the plant itself. A 31 kilometer long high voltage power line connects the facilities. All electricity generation facilities were supplied by Siemens. In 2015, the water supply network was installed, including the potable water conduits. At the same time, the commissioning and startup of the high pressure gas pipeline took place. From 2010, Eurochem set up a company to build, service, and maintain future production facilities, giving birth to Ural Remstroy Service the entity responsible for constructing the Usolsky plant itself. In 2014, Eurochem acquired another asset, the Beriznikovsky mechanical plant. The plant underwent a thorough upgrade that boosted production volumes by 500%. In 2016, the most active phase of assembling and installing high-tech equipment at the Beneficiation Plant got underway. Alongside that, crucial environmental protection facilities came online, including a sludge depository and sewage disposal works, installed with the best available technology and upholding the minimal environmental impact of the construction site. Another milestone event for the miners took place in the second half of 2016, as the assembly of the first continuous mining machine began. With the launch of the heavy duty Ural 20R vehicles, the first tonne of rock was broken away. By the end of the year, the plant completed a key stage in its development. 438 meters below sea level, we achieved intermine breakthrough. By establishing this connection between the mine's two shafts, any volume of mining work was now possible, shifting the project into its most intensive construction stage. On November the 10th, 2016, a trilateral agreement was signed by Eurochem, the Ministry of Industry of the Russian Federation and the government of the Perm region on the construction of the potash plant and mine with an eventual annual capacity of up to 15 million tonnes of ore and a beneficiation plant with a production capacity of 3.7 million tonnes of potassium chloride per year. The three-way contact also provided for the development of a 38.5 hectare land plot in nearby Berizniki. 
this is the site for a residential neighbourhood with all the associated infrastructure. In 2017, eight continuous mining machines were put into operation at the Usolski Potash plant, and by the end of 2018, their number will reach 14. A key event for the plant took place in the autumn of 2017, when miners reached the Red 2 Silvernite rock level and started work on two of the deposit's potash levels. In the meantime, commissioning work for ore treatment at the first stage of the beneficiation plant is in its final stage. The first thousand tonnes of rock are entering the 50,000 tonne capacity warehouses. The warehouses are equipped with special devices, stock hall reclaimers, which put bulk product on conveyor belts for subsequent transportation to the factory. This unique mechanism can transport ore at a rate of up to 1,000 tonnes per hour. In the spring of 2018, miners achieved an important production result, reaching 1 million tonnes of rock hoisted to the surface. At the same time, the plant successfully produced its first test product of MOP, muriate of potash. This was the culmination of years of hard work, commitment and overcoming challenges, where the combination of mining traditions and new technologies won out, validating a project that was created from scratch all those years ago. The first MOP was produced as a result of performance testing of the first section of the beneficiation plant. Manufacturing consists of the following stages. Ore dressing, flotation beneficiation, the drying of wet concentrate, granulation and ennoblement, and finally, shipment of the finished product. Over the past 10 years, Usolski's potash miners have successfully brought a high-tech plant online, where undeveloped land once stood. After startup processes are complete, all production departments will be fine-tuned to work like clockwork. 2018 is the start of a new era for Eurochem, the potash era.